Gearhead of the internet, welcome to the top 6 electric mountain bikes of 2021. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best e-bikes to tackle aggressive enduro and downhill trails. These bikes are all between 170 to 180 mil travel with slack geometry, perfect for confidence inspiring descents. If you're looking for something more versatile, trail all mountain style e-bikes, we've done a separate video on that, which I'll link below. I've been working in bike shops for the last 10 years and live in the mountain bike mecca of the world, Whistler, so I know a thing or two about bicycles. Not only will we be looking at each model of bike, but I've also considered the value of each build from the manufacturers, taking into consideration the quality of motor, size of battery, and overall build kits. In the number six spot, we have the Lapierre Overvolt in the GLP2 team build, retailing at nine and a half grand US. This was going to be a top five list, but I had to sneak the Lapierre in there because this bike is smashing expectations on test rides. This thing is so incredibly ugly, but this might just be a result of the engineers putting the quality of ride before the looks. Unlike other bike manufacturers, the Lapierre puts the heavy battery directly above the motor and bottom bracket. This results in a bike that has a center of mass closer to the middle of the bike, giving it a balanced feel in the descents. Let's look at the specs. It has a Bosch Performance CX Gen 4 motor, a 500 watt hour battery, the frame is carbon, a nice suspension package, the RockShox Zeb Ultimate RC2 with the Super Deluxe Select Plus in the rear, drivetrain is the SRAM GX and X01, the brakes are Kodars. Pros and cons, it has a great build, it's fast, and the frame design breaks the mold. It's super expensive and it's pretty ugly in my opinion. The fifth spot goes to the Da Vinci AC in the 12 speed Dior build. This whip will cost you six grand US and provides a ton of value for that price. The Da Vinci is a 170 mil travel in the back and 180 up front, and it is designed around the Shimano system. In this lower end price point, bikes are typically specced with the older E7000 or 8000, but Da Vinci are putting the new EP8 motor from Shimano in there, which is pretty impressive. Da Vinci have a long history in winning races, and I was a huge fan of the Spartan when it was released. The AC is basically this bike with a motor on it. They have opted to spec this bike with a good motor and suspension, which are the most expensive parts to swap out as a consumer. And in my opinion, it's these parts that have the biggest effect on the performance of the bike outside the geometry design. Shimano EP8 motor, 504 watt hour battery, aluminum frame, Fox Performance Float 38 with a Elite DHX2, SRAM NX Eagle, and Shimano MT520 501 brakes. Pros and cons, this is a great value bike with the newest motor available. Cons, the battery range is lower than average and the brakes are not great. If you're riding spicy terrain, I would swap these out for some codes or Zs. I've had really great experience with Da Vinci and I would definitely recommend them as a bike brand. Number four definitely got me torn. It's the Bullet R from Santa Cruz coming in at 82.50 for this build. Known as a bit of a doctor lawyer brand, this bike will definitely turn heads and it's dripping with high-end parts. Sort of. This bike is 160, 170 mil travel and will eat up any gnarly aggressive terrain you throw at it. This bike is most similar to their Nomad bike, but the bullet is a mullet configuration. So a 29 inch wheel up front, so you don't get hooked up on the holes and a nimble 27 and a half inch wheel in the rear. You're getting a sizable Shimano battery and the fork everyone wants this year, but weirdly they've put an older, less powerful motor than what you'd expect to see on a Santa Cruz. The motor is the Shimano E7000, a 630 watt hour battery, carbon frame, coming with a RockShox Zeb and Super Deluxe Select, SRAM NX drivetrain, guide RE brakes. This bike is lightweight being full carbon, has excellent ride feel and great suspension. Cons, this is an overpriced build and super disappointed to see that they put the E7000 motor in there. In third position, we have the Norco Range VLT C2 for a cool 65.99. 
This bike is killing it in the ride tests and is one of the better priced mountain e-bikes out there. Its 170-180mm design is another bike centred around the Shimano system. Norco is headquartered in North Vancouver where mountain biking began and they have the ultimate terrain to test and prototype their bikes on and it really shows in their end products. With their venture into e-bikes we've seen a surge of popularity with this brand in particular because of the great price that they offer. The Range VLT has a progressive geometry and is available in a carbon frame only. The range of an e-bike is really tricky to estimate because there are so many variables with terrain, temperature, rider weight and input, but a 630 watt hour battery should get you on average 3-4 to four hour ride. This ride time can be extended with an optional external battery from Norco which gives you an extra 360 watt hours. If you want great parts but don't want to spend too much cash, the Range VLT C2 is my top choice. The motor is the Shimano E8000. The battery is a 630 watt hour battery with an optional 360 watt hour extender. The frame is a carbon front with an alloy rear. Suspension package is the Fox 36 Performance Elite with a DHX2 in the rear. Drivetrain is the SRAM, NX Eagle and Code R brakes. This is a new frame design, it's affordable and it's a great build. However, in my experience, the warranty and service rate of the motor was an issue in the last year or so, so we'll see if this is ironed out for this year. Number two is of course the specialized Kinevo Expert costing nine grand. One of the first e-bikes of this DH style, it's the only bike coming with a dual crown fork and houses a great motor and battery combination. Its large 700 watt hour battery is sure to power this heavy, fully fledged DH bike up to those long descents we all dream of. Travel on this big boy is 180 mil front and back and only offered in aluminum for 2021, but expect a refresh in a carbon model soon. Whether your flavor is flow or tech, this bike will show you a good time in all conditions, but be warned, if you run out of juice, this bike is a pig and you won't have a good time trying to pedal this thing on empty. Specialized 2.1 motor, 700 watt hour battery with optional 160 watt hour extender, aluminum frame. The suspension is a RockShox Boxer Select RC with a Super Deluxe Select Plus, SRAM, GX drivetrain and Kodar brakes. This bike has a huge range, a dual crown fork and a true downhill bike feel. However, it's very heavy. In the top spot, the crown for the best enduro DH style e-bike goes to the Commensal Meta Power SX Race coming in at seven grand. This bike really has everything. Well, almost. It has a great price. You're getting the new style motor, sizable battery and great all round build. By far the best on the list. The Power Meta SX has 65 mil travel in the rear and 180 mil travel in the front. Plenty to tackle steep technical descents or big free ride jumps. This bike runs on 27 and a half inch wheels, so it's super nimble and maneuverable despite having the weight of an e-bike. Commensal really are upping their game in frame designs over the last few years and the Meta Power is no exception. Take a look at these crazy specs. Now remember that you're only paying seven grand for this. That's two grand less than the Knievo with a similar build. Shimano EP8 motor with a 630 watt hour battery, the aluminum frame, RockShox Zeb Ultimate with a super deluxe coil ultimate, SRAM GX drivetrain and Code R brakes. This bike is good value, has a great build and has excellent ride feel. Cons are, it's an aluminum frame. Well, I don't know about you, but I have some serious bike envy going on. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more gear videos like this one. Don't forget to check out the trail style e-bikes in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.